Welcome top news today. Private jet scandal, tax plan test Trump's brand. CNN, Donald Trump self-styling as the people's champion who would drain the Washington swamp got him to the White House. Trump's transformation from a billionaire Manhattan real estate magnate who jetted around in a private Boeing, into an advocate for the crushed dreams of middle-class Americans in the globalized economy was one of the most audacious and successful aspects of his presidential campaign. That's one reason why Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price is now in deep trouble, amid a storm over his use of taxpayer dollars to finance flights on corporate jets even over short distances. CNN reported Wednesday that Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Scott Pruitt also used private planes for government business. Treasury Secretary Stephen Mookin has also been under fire for requesting the use of a government plane during his European honeymoon. I will tell you personally, I'm not happy about it, Trump told reporters. I'm going to look at it. I let him know it. Asked if he would fire Price, the president replied, we'll see. Trump's comments were a clear sign that the president understands that the secretary's conduct, and that of several other members of the cabinet who took private jets, strikes at the heart of the drain the swamp narrative that he used to such effect last year. And since Trump has made no attempt to broaden his support since taking office, the continued loyal support of his political base is an existential requirement for his presidency one reason why he has stoked cultural and race controversies that resonate with his largely white, rural constituency, including his showdown with kneeling NFL players. The tax reform plan that Trump unveiled in Indiana on Wednesday is already being attacked as a typical Republican approach that critics say would hand huge benefits to the rich i.e. people like the president himself. With that in mind, Trump took care to frame the plan in terms that recalled the populist rhetoric of his campaign and the American carnage of shuttered factories and stolen jobs that he painted in his inaugural address. We're going to cut taxes for the middle class, we are going to bring back the jobs and wealth that have left our country and most people thought left our country for good, Trump said. The proposals do call for a doubling of the standard deduction to $24,000 for married couples and $12,000 for single filers. Trump argues this will lead to an explosion of economic growth that will create millions of jobs, and bring back firms from low-wage economies overseas, and make everyone better off in a new era of highly charged growth. This framework would also cause our national debt to spike, resulting in Republican leaders cutting even more from critical programs that help American families, like Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, to offset the massive tax cuts they've gifted to the rich, said Democratic Representative Joe Crowley of New York. Trump quickly tried to dispel the notion that he would personally benefit from his own changes to the tax system. It's not good for me, believe me, Trump said.